Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 4 with me, Full Symmetry. And today, we are over here at our base. We're at the Jellyfish base yet again. And I thought, you know what, today, especially as Thursday episodes at the moment are kind of the shorter episode of the lot. Or at least the one with the least biggest project. Saturday is probably the one with the biggest project, especially this week. But, uh, because I've got, I've got plans already, guys. I've got plans in mind. So if you haven't seen that yet, it's probably not even out yet for most of you guys. But, uh, but yeah, today I actually wanted to work back in the garden again. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, it looks pretty much like it's complete. But I kind of, like, I like, I don't mind it. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's pretty average for a garden. I mean, I could have done a lot better, I think. And it doesn't really help that we've got kind of borders of different biomes around the side. So that doesn't really help it out very much because it's not you know, much of a shape, it's just kind of roughly there, and I mean, it's meant to be looked at probably from down below inside the garden, so I guess from here, it looks pretty overgrown and kind of how I wanted it to look. Just a bit of a shame that it doesn't look that great from above. But yes, as I mentioned, I think a couple of episodes ago, that none of these tunnels really led anywhere. This one now leads to the path that we designed a few episodes back. If you haven't seen that, I'll try and put it up on the screen if you haven't seen that. And, uh, yeah, if we go down here, I mentioned that we get to the totem. Is it still down here? It seems like a longer way than it than it looks from above. Yeah, there's the totem. But I think I might. I'm, I'm kind of inspired by Wells' night video that I did uh, with him collaborating on his Hobbit house. Tempted to put, like, a little house in the mountain here or something. So perhaps that's something that might happen. But, uh, but yeah, I basically... I don't really have anything from that side yet, although that is towards Cub's base, so... Maybe we'll hook that path up to something in the future where maybe Cub makes a little extra area or maybe even Scar and we'll just, we'll just build a little bit of a path up towards it. So, yeah, there's that. But there was an extra path which I believe isn't attached anymore. I think it was attached for a while, but I think we kind of covered it over. It was a diagonal path this way and I think I might cut, you know, through here and cut rid of, get rid of some trees or something. Here it is. So the path starts here. And then I built a giant snail in the way, which I, I'm going to leave him, because he, he, they take a little while to make these the, these do to try and get them uh, looking good. Um, but yeah, I wanted like a little path down here, because it kind of like ends, and I plan to have one going off this way and one going off this way, but I think I'm just going to have one going diagonally across. And then I was looking from above at this little island right here. Now it's kind of an island, it's attached, I believe, this side. But it's like a little bit of land that's between myself and Mumbo. Like Mumbo's base is kind of there. I've kind of, you know, crawled in a little bit with that tunnel that goes through underneath there. But I thought it'd be really, really cool to build something here. And what I was thinking was to build a giant tree. Because those are not custom trees in there. They're just completely normal trees. But here we could build a custom one that's a little bit taller than those. Similar style, similar colouring. Uh, it'll probably be spruce because that's my favourite kind of log, I think. And, uh, yeah, we'll have a path coming up to it, a little seat here, and, I mean, the view's not bad, I still need to get rid of that mess there, so ignore that, that'll be removed pretty soon, I think. But yeah, I thought that's that what we would work on today, we might add a little bit of a crop farm around it, make it quite a little natural area, even possibly could add a path here upwards, but I don't think that's necessary. Could, in the future, add one around here that connects to, if we, if we add a fell over there, we should be able to see it connects to that path that kind of goes up there. We could do that. I haven't decided yet. I mean, there is a bit of a platform here right now, and it would have a pretty good view of, you know, the drone, etc. You know, you could stand here, look up at it, and you pretty much get it all in render distance. So, I don't know, lots of ideas bubbling around in my head right now, but I want to work on the tree and the stuff that uh, goes around that. So I'm going to gather my materials, go gather some spruce and stuff like that for my base, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. I've got a few ideas that I haven't planned out yet, but I think not much of this will need planning and creative, so we should be pretty set. First things first, I have been trying to decide where the bridge is going to go. I've also lit up the area around here just so that hopefully we don't get any creepy crawlies. What am I doing here? This looks... <laughs> this looks not right. I was just about to start... Actually, you know what? That might work. Will that work? Oh, I can't. I can't do that. I want to put slabs on these as well. Right, is that going to work? That looks okay. Get out of the way, grass. We'll, we'll terraform these sides, making sure that there's a nice little slope. The same with over there, but 
hey, Terraform is going to be a bit tough with the whole red sand thing, seeing as though I don't actually have a lot of it, so I can't really just, like, keep placing a whole bunch, I have to remove some to then replace some, yeah, because otherwise I don't have enough. But I think something like this might work quite nicely, where we have, let's use this as a little, little thing, um, going up like so, oh, no, not in the water, not in the water, like, is this going to work? I was kind of hoping that would work. That looks like it's not going to work. Uh, did I mean to bring it this way? That's probably better, right? I know how to build bridges, guys. It's not like I've not been doing bridges, like, for the past however many episodes. I think that might work. And then the same on the other side. And they should pretty much, at least, meet up pretty quickly in the middle. I want it to be a nice little archway without too much fuss. And I'm placing it in the wrong place. So a lot of people recently have been telling me that I should build more on camera. So I'm going to try and do that when I when I do little talky bits. I actually do something rather than just explain what it is I'm coming up with. But I think, you know what, that might be quite nice. And then one more half slab up. So it's on the full block. Yeah, that'll be on the full block. And I think that'll work quite nicely. But as I as I look in my hotbar, it looks like I need some, uh, some more spruce. So let's quickly make some more up and... I guess what we'll do is we'll just do something along the lines of, huh, how's this going to work? don't know, I think I need to fiddle with this a little bit more. I'm not sure on the shape. I think it needs to be a little bit more zigzaggy like I had it before so that it's going along more so than uh, going outwards. I don't want it to get fatter as it goes along because that will be probably a pretty terrible bridge. Yeah. Okay, this is starting to take a bit more shape. I don't know whether or not I want to go with the dark wood now. I kind of want to go with the dark wood with the big tree. And I was hoping this would actually match it. But it doesn't seem like it's going to do that. Also, I figured out that doing that with the shape actually makes a lot of difference. So I'm going to be doing that instead. And then going ahead and... I need to remove... Oh, but I'm keep, I keep placing the wrong blo blocks. No wonder I don't build on camera get out the get out the way squid what are you doing man you're trying to jump in like the, the smallest block ever and i think this goes up like this and they should attach in the middle which should be cool so another pillar here oh let's actually use it to hop up on that would be helpful this squid is just like hey force you know you know you're building and stuff yeah yeah i'm gonna get in your ways if that's okay <laughs> here's a massive troll squid what's what's going on here and then i think i should be able to Maybe do this and do this and hopefully it shouldn't be too small of a bridge that we can actually walk along it practically Yeah That works really nicely, I think and then we can have that bit going down in the middle for a little bit of detail Perhaps I like that a lot. I think we'll add a glowstone in the middle Maybe some of those leaves coming down onto the bridge and I think that looks pretty cool. I didn't actually bring any lighting with me, which was a silly idea. I didn't bring any glowstone or anything to put in the middle. But is there a middle block? Oh, no, there's two. Two middle blocks. So maybe even just two torches either side. That that probably works too. But that's quite a cute little bridge. I think that works quite nicely with the designs we've got. And we can always swap this out for oak wood if we need to. But, yeah, a bit of a shame it doesn't quite work. Maybe we'll actually go with dark oak for the big tree then and actually swap that for dark oak too because it's a little bit more muted and I feel like that works quite well with the leaves. Although, I don't know what leaves would then go with this. We can't put the green leaves? Can we put the... Oh, I don't know. This tree might end up looking terrible and just dead if we use those leaves. So, I want to use those leaves and I guess it's easier to replace logs than leaves. So... I guess we'll build it and see? No, please, no, 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 no. Okay, so looking from here, it looks a lot better being dark oak, a lot more muted, goes with the color scheme, doesn't look like it's two separate things, which is really cool. Uh, I'll let some grass grow there, place some more, sort out the path and stuff later. But I've tried uh, a little bit of a placement for my tree. Now it's gonna be quite tall, it's probably gonna go up to about here. Level-wise, um, I think, and I used a lot of different um, Minecraft tree designs. At, like I put, I put them all together. I picked the things out that I liked, and I come up with a cool design in creative. But obviously, I found this with trees. Like building them in creative and then building them on the server are completely two different challenges. It's not that hard to make a, 
okay looking tree in creative, but trying to make a decent looking one in survival from one that's pretty de uh, pretty decent in creative is, is quite difficult. So yeah, although I think it'll look nice once we've added the leaves and detail and stuff, we just need to get the frame down first. And then I actually figured a really, really cool way of doing leaves. So I should probably explain to you guys before I go ahead and just do it. So the idea with leaves is that you get like a, you know, a trunk or whatever like that. And then what I've done, or oh, this is actually a good way of trying out what colour leaves we want as well. Are, are, are they going to be okay? That might be quite nice actually, it might look like a magical tree. I don't... I don't know actually, it kind of works because the leaves are muted but they're quite bright. Looks better than those anyway. Uh, so yeah, what I've been doing recently with trees is doing that and then just adding leaves around it. So bringing it out some more, bringing it out in each direction. If it looks better being more oblong then doing that, so maybe longer this side. Uh, and then just building up like this and you end up with a quite natural looking kind of tree. Look at that! Look at that! In two seconds, I've made a pretty good top of a tree. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm quite impressed. I didn't think it was going to look as cool as that. But yeah, that is my way of doing trees now. And it's actually a really nice technique. So that's why I thought I would show you guys. Because from one person that sucks to building trees to maybe some of you guys don't know how to build trees. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm no, I'm no scar when it comes to tree design. So yeah, I need some practice. But that... That, that's a pretty good tip. I like that one a lot. So I think I'm going to go ahead now and build the tree. Maybe do a bit of a time lapse whilst doing so. Well, that's going to be quite difficult, isn't it? I think what I'll do is a time lapse of the leaf placing rather than the logs. Because the logs are the part that are going to make it look good. And then the leaves are going to grow out of it. And maybe it'll look a little bit like the changing of the seasons or something like that in time lapse. Who knows? But anyway, go ahead, folks, and roll that time lapse. Okay, just jump from the jellyfish to this tentacle to have a look from up here. Oh my god, he spotted me. Mr. Pumpkinhead, I don't know how you're going to try and get up that way. You're going to drown yourself, you silly per... Oh, he's just spit. Okay, well, that, that was an easy way out um, from that. Although, wait, is there still a hole there? I don't think there is. Anyway, this is what it looks like from above. I've just placed a load of grass there, put some path up to it, made it seem a little bit like, you know, the grass is kind of gone along. Still need to fix up this bit, I was waiting for that to turn to grass and it looks like I might want to bring the grass out to here and made this patch up here bigger and I might bring it back all the way to about there with the grass and put like the crops there, although I don't think they're going to look that great, it'd be maybe better along there. Are crops even going to look good? I don't know, but I also tried if I can get a good view of this, I wanted to look at night time because I've got a light in the tree. I've added, oh there we go, perfect landing. Didn't look at him. Good. Uh, yeah, I tried. I tried adding different leaves, and I don't think I like it. They're just too different. Look at them. Got all four of them. It. It's just. I think it's just too much. So I think I'm gonna sadly have to stick with just birch. Which I don't know if it makes the tree look a little bit flat. Uh, you guys are gonna have to let me know. But it was that. Or, I won't, I won't replace all of those, I will fix those later. But yeah, it's really, really easy to swap the leaves out. Whoa, no, 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 don't blow up near my chest. Not, not a good plan. Not a good plan. Not, this is not a good plan. <laughs> I plan to light up where the torches are and not go any further, so there are still mobs spawning. But I'm going to light these up properly with glowstone and stuff. At another point in time, but it's not good. It's not good, but it looks cool. I mean, the tree looks a bit weird from certain angles, but hey, I guess I'm not really looking at them from that angle. Sun, please come up. Please just, please, please save me from the monsters. Um, yeah, no, I really like it. I think it's a okay looking tree. It does look a bit odd from some angles. But it looks, it looks pretty legit though. I feel like it looks legit. It's my best tree yet, which probably isn't saying much, but I like it and I can always tweak it later. I'm sure the comments are going to just be full of people going, "False, you're an idiot, just get Scar to do it. Which, which is fine, but I kind of also want to make it myself. Okay, guys. But, but tell me, tell me straight. Just tell me straight, okay? I think that looks really cool, especially from here, which is where you're meant to be viewing it from. Just a bit of a weird colouring, so... 
think just adding more greenery around it will help because it doesn't really help that we've got orange literally just covering the area around it. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. We'll bring maybe some crops in or something. There's another creeper. Okay, I don't like this area. I'm out. I'm go I'm disappearing. I'm letting them all despawn and then coming back because this is not fun. Oh, hello there. Interrupting my little clip. Dang it, get out of here. What are you doing? Anyway, um, so I planned, obviously, like I said before, to put crops along here. Now, I also had an idea about uh, a new kind of wall. Now, I've got my camera account kind of up in the air somewhere over there. I'm waving at it. Oh, you can't see it. It's on my second screen. I can see it. And I wanted to see what would happen if I, like, started... Um, building a bit of a wall. So I'm going to start building it mostly out of like cobblestone um, blocks, uh, some maybe slabs and stuff like that as well, possibly. Um, but, oh, we're going to have to move this lighting, aren't we? That's going to be a bit of a pain. Oh, well, I think that'll. I think that'll still work. So the idea is that, oh, I need to get rid of a hoe, need to do that and that and all the things. So yeah, the idea is that it's going to be surrounded by a wall. Now this will be in quite broken up and stuff. Um, this can't be like that though. Can't float. It can't float. But yeah, basically it's going to be a wall that's that's kind of broken up. And I thought this would work. It might look a bit naff. Who knows? We're gonna have to wait and see. I think. But uh, it's going to be basically a normal kind of wall. And inside of the wall, if I can get my hoe ready, we would have oh crops which I forget, I need to bone meal straight away. So basically, if you guys want to ever add decor crops, you can do it without water. I know a lot of people try and get water in the design and stuff. This is actually probably going to look terrible, but we'll give it a go. We can always change the wall out. I definitely want some wheat over here, though. But what you can do is if you quickly put the wheat uh, down and plant it and then grow it, it shouldn't then pop out because that's kind of the big problem. Uh, with um, crops, unless they've changed it. I don't think they have changed it. It's been a long while since I've done it. But if you bone meal it to the full growth, it won't then pop out and it won't get ruined. So the idea is that we'll have certain layers of this um, everywhere, basically up here, around this side of things. And let's let's have a quick look once we've bone milled this. Let's have a quick look from over there before it gets too dark that things start spawning. You know what, that looks quite nice, especially with that sugar cane there, which was there naturally, I believe. I might put some string on it, make, make it different heights and stuff. But I think this is starting to come together. I might even... There's another fella over there. Come on now, I can't start the clip and end the clip with one of those guys. Blimey. But uh, it's starting to look a little bit more natural and stuff, I think. Um, we might add a little bench, possibly, over that side. Blimey, that was loud. You're over there. Can you swim? You can swim! Oh my god, it's a miracle! Well, I better kill him, because otherwise he's just going to bug me and make that scary noise. So yeah, better go sleep before the monsters come and get me, but I think this is going to look pretty snazzy, and yeah, that wall didn't look too bad. I might try adding some other blocks to it also, but we'll try a few things out and then come back and uh, catch up with what's been going on. So that's looking pretty cool. I do like that, if I do say so myself. Now, I don't want to make this a full garden, which is why I've done a bit of a broken... Uh, wall, I've actually um, brought in some stone bricks as well, some of the mossy cracked, uh, none of the, the smooth, I didn't want any smooth in it, which usually I do, usually I mix them in, but uh, right now I want to add a few flowers, I want to make one side seem more wild than the other, put one of them there, one of them there, maybe a blue guy and you in there. I was going to add plant pots, but I feel like I want to go down the wild route, perhaps a bit more. Um, I've also brought some lily pads over as well, which I think are going to look really nice if I put them underneath here and kind of fade them out as they go outwards. So probably one maybe over here. And yeah, just a few here and there. It's, it's quite nice to use them. I don't use them often enough, mostly because I don't think I ever build on the water very much. So put one over here as well. Nice to kind of make them quite dense here and then uh, as you go further out, um, spread them. Um, like so. I think that worked. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, that is pretty cute, actually. That is pretty cute, which is exactly what I want. I want it to look cute. Get rid of all these dandelions and poppies, though. I don't know why they're... Like, I wish there was an easier way to just, like, grow grass without... Oh, it's going to be very green. I'm not sure about that. Um, I'm actually going to plant this up like I usually do and let it grow and then, like, you know, a few days later maybe come back and uh, once... I 
actually saying that, since my base is only there, uh, I can probably AFK in my base and then um, trim out. I've left some of the random leaves up there, which I don't actually hate, and I might add just a few more, just a, just a touch here and there to make it seem a little bit like the tree's kind of starting to die, or, you know, at least coming up to, you know, we're in autumn already, so technically you know, maybe, maybe the leaves will be changing. Um, just adding a few vines here and there. I usually like to add more than I need and then get rid of them. It's easier that way. And I will have to put some up top as well, probably. So let's quickly head up here. Put one there, which, I mean, isn't really great because I probably might get rid of that leaf. Who knows? Who knows what I'm doing? Go up top, maybe add one this side. Just, just a few here and there, which should work. I like putting them on the edge as well. So that one's going to come straight down over the path, which is cool. Should probably put one maybe on the outside of this bridge if I haven't already. Don't know if I have. Just just make it seem like it's actually flowing down into the water. Uh, and obviously I've obviously I, I just haven't put enough in here either. There are some. Some are I've gone a bit crazy, which I still need to you know tame a little bit. I've also dug this out and made a little bit of a rough path, like it's kind of worn away and the snails started walking across it and then it continues. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can walk basically wherever I wherever I like, and it's not a problem. But uh, I really like this so far. Oh man, that sand noise there. Well, I don't know why that scared me. Why did I think that was a creeper? That's so dumb. That's so so dumb. Uh, let's put this blue flower down over here because it's it's too cute not to. I do need one piece of string right now though. Actually saying that, I've just noticed these were here as well. I think these must have been natural too, because I don't think I've placed any. But yeah, I really like it so far. So I might actually place a bench right there, facing this way. Why is there another one? I'm not using that many ender pearls, am I? Okay, maybe I am. Uh, maybe one there, a little bench there, facing this really awful waterfall. Which, I mean, just realised it's actually got dirt underneath it. This was pretty natural, I believe. I think part of it went this way, which I might... Actually, no, I think that was natural as well. Yeah, because it went into here. Definitely need to figure that out. Definitely need to cover these things. I, I swear, every time I work on an, on a uh, build inside the base, like inside this mountain, I um, I always say at the end of the episode, oh, I'll cover up the outside. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Proof right there. But yeah, looking really cool so far. Let's add a little bench, and I think that should be it for the details. Maybe tidy up the torches, and we should be good to go. And hopefully this will look really, really cool at night, especially. So one last look at the build today and I think it looks pretty fantastic. If there's something you think uh, should be added, let me know. Just showing you guys really quickly. What is up with that chunk? That always does that. Don't know why. But yeah, if you think there's something that I'm missing, something I should add, let me know. But this is it. It looks pretty fantastic if I do say so myself. I feel like this tree needs a name. It's kind of a magical tree in a way. So possibly something to do with that. If you want to name the tree... Let me know, I'll stick a little sign over there. And I think the bridge looks really, really great as well. Letting the vines grow, doing their own thing at the moment for a little while. And uh, even the wall is looking pretty fantastic. Uh, if I do say so myself, I might add details here and there on this. But I think with the backdrop of Mumbo's base, oh, without, without being in the water, this looks pretty fantastic. There's a nice, nice contrast there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember to leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya! <laughs> oh, good. That's all good. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button. Brains. Brains. <laughs> So dirty. <laughs>